I thank you all for your patience. Our second lecture demonstration of the seventh day of the 97th annual conference is on the book Sangeeta Vidya Vinodini, a 1915 publication presented by Dr. Rajshri Ramakrishna, who is currently serving as an associate professor and head of the Indian Music Department at the University of Madras, a dedicated disciple of Kalai Mamani Bina Rajeshwari Padmanabhan, Sangeeta Kala Acharya Shri P.S. Narayana Swami, and Sangeeta Kala Acharya Srimati Suguna Vardachari. Her PhD research was conducted under the guidance of Dr. S.A.K. Durga, the well-known ethnomusicologist who was for long a member of our experts committee. Dr. Rajshri has contributed to academia with papers, articles and projects for the UGC and All India Radio. Under her guidance, several scholars have been awarded PhD degrees from the University of Madras. It's over to Dr. Rajshri. You have 45 minutes from now. Namaste. I would first like to thank the Madras Music Academy for giving me this opportunity. My pranams to all the gurus, the scholars, and rasikas. This work, Gana Vidya Vinodini, is a 1915 publication. The author, Veena Basavappa, was apparently a student and grandson of Vala Japet Venkataramana Bhagavatar, was the student of the grandson of Vala Japet Venkataramana Bhagavatar, was also a disciple of Tyagaraja and my Surveena Seshana. According to the author, this book has been written for students of vocal and instrumental music. Like most early Telugu publications of that period, it also contains a little bit of music theory, a note on Nada, and the 72 Mela scheme. Complete practical notations have been provided for Swaravali, Alankara, Geetam, Swarajati, Varnam, Padam, Tillana, Javali, Hindustani and Note Swarams, Kritis of Tyagaraja, Muthuswami Dikshatar, Shama Shastri, Subramanyaya, and of course Sadashivarao because he belongs to that lineage. Next slide. No, the uh, title of the book. Okay, the author is Veena Basavappa, publisher is Vavilla Ramaswami Shastri and Sons, year is 1915, script is Telugu, number of pages is 104. In his details that he writes about Nada, he goes about Sangeeta as the confluence of Gita and Ritta and Vadya. Nadopasana Devatas are Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwara. When one thinks of Nadopasana, what comes to one's mind is Veena Vadana Tattvagnya, that is Shruti, Jati and Murchana. The causal effect of Nada, that is Atma, Manas, Agni and Vayu, they are involved in the creation of Nada. The vibrations of Nada begins at the Brahma Granthi, moves upward, Urdhva Mukha and passes through Hridaya Kanta. All these things we find as a prelude to all the books. First, it kind of brings in a reverence while you open a book, you know, this first chapter on Nada is, I think, what focuses your mind. No, look, this is a serious work. You better be serious. So I think that is the first note this book also begins with. Then we have the index of the songs. It is very brief. The index is not very detailed. It is very brief. And the authors do not mention the names of the composers inside the text. This is something he has like mentioned uh, Tyagaraja Kritis, he has mentioned the composers when it comes to Patnas Subramanyayar, when it comes to uh, Subrai Diksha, so, what is Sadashiva Rao, he gives the name. But when, it's, when it comes to the Swarajatis, the Varnams and all inside, he's not mentioning the composer. So some of the compositions, the authorship, we do not know whether it was composed by himself, the author himself, or by somebody in the tradition. When it comes to that point, I'll tell you. Okay, the next is, at, he gives the tabulation of the 72 Melakartas, which are tabulated with the Swarasthanas. Okay. Then we move on to the next part, where he gives the Sarali Varsai, which are 12 in number, 
హెచ్ఎస్ తాయి ఆర్ ఫోర్ ఇన్ నంబర్ జంట వెర్సైస్ ఆర్ థర్టీన్ అలంకారమ్స్ ఆర్ సెవెన్ వెన్ యూ కమ్ టు ద సర్లి వెర్సై ద ట్వెల్వ్ వెర్సైస్ ఆర్ వాట్ వీ యూజ్వలీ సింగ్ హియర్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు మేక్ అ పాయింట్ దట్ ఇన్ సర్లి వెర్సై ది what is stressed most is swaras are grouped in fours and it contains eight groups of four swaras each very say and there is no stress only you have two varieties of two four and six and eight that is even numbers are only given the only odd sarali varsai is the sariga sariga sari that one is 3 plus 3 plus 2 a reflection of this is seen in the janta varsai sasari sasari sari or the one um sa 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 ri 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 ga ga so we have this 3 3 2 coming in there so this concept you will see is not it its first reference is found in the sarali versay and then later on it is found but otherwise the complete stress is only on 2 4 6 and 8 in all the versays not the alankaram i mean till the alankaram here that varisai has been given as the eighth varisai not as the third one as we usually sing it is difficult for a student to grasp that as the third number and in many of the sarali varisais that are documented this varisai is not absent also in many of them so i think um, uh, it is more i mean it is just a point to be noted this is an observation that i have made okay then when it comes to the groups when you do a grouping Uh, when you move to the janta varisais they use the first sarigama you have it is restricted to just the four notes and then you move to the next four rigama pa then you move to the next four gama pa tha. that is how it moves here is a different one varisai here janta varisai which is unique here is he moves to five and then comes to four that is he would take sarigama pa and then he would move to sarigama i will just i played it on the veena so that you can understand what's happening technique of the veena is also involved in that risa sani prayoga in the last phrase you have to move to the second string so without faltering you have to move to that string maybe that exercise at this point has been introduced for that purpose otherwise uh, in uh, sarali and jante and all that it is restricted to the madhya sthai so it does not extend beyond the uh, sthai and then this varsai sa 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 ri 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 they move in fours you have fives you have threes so this is an again it is for the instrument i think but also a point to be noted is in janta varsai in the arohana krama we st- don't stress the first note if you have three we stress the second and the third then when you have four you don't stress the first one you stress the next three in the avarohana krama you have to stress alternately it has to be every even swara has to be stressed the odd swara should not be stressed so this is a rule which i mean uh, as a vainika this is taught to us in the beginning so this is if it is extended to the voice it is a very difficult feat actually so even that i would like to just demonstrate no yeah that is fine.
it is a technique. If you follow the technique, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, it will be very easy to maintain that space. Because that one, sa, 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 ni, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So one is the non-stress, two is the stress. So this is a, sorry, my voice is uh, not, it is unrest now, so it is not. So, um, so that five, so this is stressed when in the Jantavari say, this is a very important thing that one has to master. You know, every time the laya aspect, this is where it is coming in. Only in the Janta Varise, the odd numbers are being introduced. Till then, it is only even, you know. So, yeah. Then this Hechustai is, Varise is, are not included in all the books. Again, it is a very vocal concept where you are trying to extend your voice range to the Tarastai and the Mandrastai. When you come to the instrument, it is only Madhya Sthai, which is played in the three Sthais. You play in the Mandra, the Tara Sthai. So we play the same exercises over the three Sthais. Whereas in the voice, it is the extension of the range. So you have the Hechu Sthai. And this Hechu Sthai is included in the books Gayaka Parijata for the first time in 1877, Sangeeta Sudha Sangrahamu 1909, Sangeeta Swaraprastara Sangramu in 1914, Gana Vidya Vinodini 1915, it is a very late concept. In Sangeeta Sarvartha Sara Sangrahamu, it is not mentioned. 1859 book does not have the Hechus Thaivari says. So, K.V. Srinivas Iyengar's book has. Then, Dhatu is again a, vo a very vocal concept. In the Veena uh, or in the instrument, the Dhatu verses are not taught. But, yeah, now people are also adapting, uh, adopting that, you know, to for jumps. Uh, the works that there are only a very uh, five works out of the 40 and odd early publications in Telugu, only about six have that verses. Gayaka Parijata in 1877, Sangeeta Jnana Kalanubhava in 1885, Sangeeta Swaraprastaramu of 1914, Sangeeta Pradayani of Tiger Vardacharya 1916, Sangeeta Nandaratnakaramu 1917, Sangeeta Prathama Bodhini in 1934. So this... Uh, but in 1859, Sangeeta Sarvartha Sara Sangramu has Datu verses. He has given very tough five set of five Datu verses. So, this is all about the basic exercises. Alankaramulu are the same, the seven of them. Next, we move to the Pillari Gitams. There are 14 of them. The usual. Gitams, the five usual Gitams are there, and then you have the others. Now the authorship again for these are not known. We do not know who's the composer, um, but maybe research we will be able to find. And I actually feel very bad because at the touch of a button, Dr. And Ramnathan has made this music research library, which is so accessible. But still across languages, across books, across periods, we are not able to still spend that much of time. I think we will do in the course of time, I think, with the help of our research scholars and all that, we would like to do that. But as far, we should be able to say whether we know or we do not know the author, you know, of, with the information that we have from the documented resources. Then we have the concept, okay, can we, I'll just play some uh, Gitams that... This is a Nate. Uh, see this, all the, lot of publications have documented Gitams in Ganaragas. Apart from the first um, Gitams that we sing, Sri Gananatha, they move on to the Ganaragas. I think this concept is very important because the f excluding Varali, the other four, if you take the instrument, the Veena, for example, it, try it teaches you to um, execute the Gamakas, the spaces, I would say. Like if it is Nate, 
the the stretching of the string up to that rishaba and back uh, in gaule the jarus in arabhi that sthana kampita that you get and in shri ragam the tanam tanam is you have ri ri is it is one fret away usually in the jantaswarams we do tanam with just using just the previous fret or the previous varasthana whereas in shri ragam you have to split your fingers when it comes to nini sasa or sasa ri ri you have to do a double fret so all the fingering concepts that is required for the later learning of the compositions gets covered when you practice these gitams and which again leads to the tanam practice in those ragas so the maneuvering of your fingering and the dexterity is obtained only if you practice these gitams and these have been it is documented in so many books you have gayana gayani um jana parijatamo which is compiled by various scholars 1878 1898 then sangeeta vidya darpanam is um, by vumudi setti venkateswami naidu 1910 so we have many books which document the uh, gitams in the ganaragas ಕಮಲ ಜನಾರದ ನೂತ ಪಾದುಜ ಭ್ರಮರಜ ನಮೋಹರುಣಿ ಅಹಲ್ಯ ಶಾಪ ವಿಮೋಚನ ವಿಭೀಷಣ ಭರ ದಾಯಕ next we have uh, two swarajatis manayaka and jenjuti hari uh, which he gives in every composition he gives to which mela it belongs to and the swarasthanas um, sita varamelu kora in bauli this particular uh, swarajati jenjuti is found in uh, oriental um oriental music uh, omen yeah oriental music in european notation uh, uh, which is an earlier uh, work very early it, it comes in the end of the uh, it, 19th century uh, this is 1915 so apparently this git uh, swarajati could not have been his composition but even there uh, abraham pandita does not give the name of the composer i'm oh, sorry i'm sorry am chinna sami modela does not give the name of the composer there so this authorship of this uh, swarajati uh, we do not know mm, but i have um, then uh, the bauli uh, swar um, swarajati it combines lot of mail kalam i mean it begins with a very slow tempo and then it includes lot of uh, mail kala prayogas so this is again modeled after sadashiva rao's compositions in swarajati in hamsadvani it somehow it appears to be in the same model yeah we'd like to play the examples
So this is like the Swarasthana. It has a lot of Swarakshara's, uh, similar to what we find in the Tanjay Nalvar composition and also in Ponnayapalle's uh, Bhairavi Swarajati. So it is somehow in this similar model. I've just, I just played the first line and the last two uh, Swaras. And the next is, uh, this is the Swarajati in Bauli. Uh, the structure is very beautiful. I've just played the first line and then the last uh, one. Swarajati, uh, that uh, phrase, tam, 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 ta, this motif, that ga, ga, pa, gari, sari, ga, da, pa, ga, ga, pa, sa, sari, it begins. That motif is repeated at every um, um, aridhi of the thala. Similarly, the anjikarva, in Swarajatis and Jatiswarams, usually you will find the aridhi karva as six. This is very unique, it, is, it has five in the beginning. So he has tried to make this different. You can see the way it has been uh, composed. So this format we find in Kirtanams, in fact, this kind of a structure. But singing the Swaram and singing the Sahityam is the novelty in this particular composition. OK. The Janjuti um, uh, Swarajati that I mentioned is Krishna Swami Bhagavatar's composition, which has been documented in Omen actually. So next one. Uh, this I would like to at this point play Mysore Sadashiva Rao's uh, composition, uh, which is in Hamsadhvani, which is similar to this. Yeah. <laughs> which I have taken from Hamsadvani's Swarajati of Mysore Sadashiva Rao. Audio experts uh, excerpts from Sadashiva Vagaya Sampada 2, episode 1 by Prasar Bharati. Music supervision and direction is by R.K. Shrikantan and M.S. Sheila. So that expert, they have documented all the Sadashiva Rao compositions in two uh, presentations, I mean two volumes. Next we move on to the Tana Varnam, which is in Kamas. Again, the author of this Varnam is not known. Um, 
one more point I'd like to make. Just go to the previous slide. All these um, notations, he has not numbered the uh, swaras as one, two, three, or anything. Even the previous slide, if you would see the previous slide also, there's no number on the left. So one has to see by the ending. Go to the next one. Next slide. See, the last swara is re, and then you can start. Whereas in this last one, this karve, daradi, the vichila or karve, daivatat. So you know that one is a double avarta. Otherwise, all of them are, you know, uh, they are just single lines. What is the language of Telangana? Telangana, allame. Now that English la type one irke. Just, no, this is again for visual. We don't want you to read, not for reading the notation. No, no, the That's lyrics are beautiful in this uh, because it is basically waking up Rama. Oh. It is offering a lot of, you know, fruits. In the whole thing. That is what I was trying to read. It talks about dates. It talks about milk. It talks about the entire process of waking up the Lord. And finally, it says Ramapuravasa. I don't know where this Ramapuravasa, which temple it is. But I, that is what I was trying to read. Right <laughs> through the whole thing. Very interesting lyric. <laughs> okay. Next is this Thanavarnam in Kamas. Again, we do not have the... Um, um, uh, swara numbers or anything. I've just played the Pallavi and then I move on to the Charanam in this Varnam. Okay, this is the Charanam part. And this is the first book which uh, says Yetagada Swaras. You will not find this uh, in um, SSP. I think he gives Yetagada Swaras as mentioned. But otherwise, this is the first time this term is used for Yetagada Swaras in publications. That sama from again the um, the sthai symbols are also not present in all the notations. What it is, what we have I have interpreted, but I do not think uh, it will be wrong because when you play this, I just looked at the notation and played at one stretch. I didn't have any doubt as to whether it would be the madhyastha or the tarastha. In the flow, it we are able to make out that uh, this is what it is. Okay, next we move on to the Tyagaraja Kritis. Varnams. Varnams, yeah. He has mentioned uh, Balaja Nagar Venkatramana Bhagavatar's four Varnams. Uh, these notations are actually seen in later publications also. And, uh, yeah. So he has included his own, um, sish, um, his Gurukulam, that is Valaja Pet Venkatramana uh, Bhagavatar, Krishna Swami Iyas composition, then this is Valaja Pet Venkatramana Bhagavatar's. And Sadashiva Rao's compositions are found in this work. Then we have the 15 Tyagaraja Kritis are there. And for each Kirtana, he gives the Melakarta, the Janya, which, the Janya and then the Melakarta is mentioned. Um, in the Nata Kriti, the, it is, uh, the Laghu has 32 matras. And each dritta has like 16 matras. So that is how it is notated. It is notated as 32, 16, 16. Then in Ragunayaka, in the notation, the tala has been reckoned as deshadi. Okay, and um, the composition in Siddha Sena is the same as it is in K. Vishrinu Sengar. Paraku Jaisina, in uh, this particular work, is given as khamas, as a janya of Harikamboji. While in K. Vishrinu Sengar, it has been given as jujahuli. Janya of Gayaka Priya of 13th Mela. And, but K.V. Srinivasayangar himself says 
that already musicians are singing this as a janya of the chakravaka raga rangaraman jayangar classifies this under the under chakravaka again wherever in suruti is in the desadi format so he has alternated between the desadi format onre edupa then uh, this very detailed swaras of 32 16 16 so there is not i would not say this based on the composition he has tried to put in as many swaras to define that particular phrase just like in rangaraman jayangar for all, all the nuances he has filled in with lot of swaras so similarly he has also some ragas which de- require detailed swaras he has used 32 16 16 for some which it would do to show it as desadi as four sets then it is desadi otherwise one read up so like that he has used his own um, um, similarly in the devakriya he says it is a nishadantya raga kevishna sangar says it is a nishadantya raga and a natabhairavi mela the author mentions mentions this that during his time itself this raga has been classified under 28 mela so there are two ragas in this one is riti gaula and one is devakriya where the dhaivata has been augmented even during that period itself during 1915 itself you see that the dhaivata has moved to has been augmented to chaturshruti dhaivata here his geetam he is, he is classifying with shuddha dhaivata whereas the kirtanam he documents 22 so there is a discrepancy in the work itself it is documenting that practice slowly it is moving to the next swarasthana or the dhaivata is getting augmented okay diksha daskriti there is only one in ananda bhairavi shama sastri skriti is saveri just just one again patram subramaniya dhanyu devado has been given as patnam subramaniya as composition but uh, it has been established that it is manam buchavadi venkata subayas <laughs> mysore sadashiva rao's compositions are found in notation for the first time in this work uh, all other works are after this even the um, kalabhivardhini sabha mysore in 1954 documents for the first time the compositions of sadashiva rao later chennakesave adds to that then our own professor here uh, he has made a uh, documented uh, sadashiva rao's compositions with javalis ragamalikai everything i mean his is the book which has the maximum number of sadashiva rao's compositions that are documented but again that is in again as i was telling him it is in kannada so uh, that is one drawback but yes script is not a problem at all it should not be a problem at least now in the present um, age where you have the Uh, so much of advancement in terms of google and all that then he has documented just one padam uh, one session as tillana has been documented in this again as i told you his own gurukulam he is bringing in all the compositions of their uh, there is one javali mata de bharato bharati that's a kannada javali okay next i move on to the the section on hindustani notice for us and tahanam all these many of these early publications have documented hindustani patalu you have in gana vidya vinodini then you have gandharva kalpavalli has hindustani patalu then um, um you have sangeetananda ratnakaramu he calls it parsi panitulu so these are some kind of dhuns or tunes uh, which are in it will just say hindustani but hindustani means it could be in sindhu bhairavi or nata bhairavi or uh, in uh, jonpuri these are the only possibilities um otherwise behag is mentioned sometimes shankara varnam is mentioned but shankara varnam also means behag Mm, that is how it is in these uh, hindustani tunes yeah i would i sang this when again i would like to um, say that i sang this particular dhun when my voice i didn't realize that it was going bad but just to give you an idea of 
what that dhun is, I, I will just play two clippings. Volume for sure. script is not as easy as it sounds while I'm singing. You should know Hindi, you should know Telugu, uh, you should know maybe a little bit of Bridge Basha, but if it is usual, um, Meera Bhajans or something, you can find out the script. But here we don't know, don't know who the author is. So it took a lot of time for me to decipher what the words were. Uh, you know, uh, so um, the Padachedam is uh, uh, very difficult to find out. And there's one more See this ikwa e ik was very difficult to find because it would say they would write it as ye hikwa ya or yakwa and uh, then um, tarap tarap was very difficult to decipher again because tara it was somewhere we were thinking it was attached to the previous word as some tara as the ending and ratarap something so we were it was very difficult as I said we both of us actually broke our heads over uh, what the words could be you know so. And it is this text is not found in other works. You would, uh, each one is unique to itself. In fact, there are a lot of them in dhuns in this. Then uh, notice for us. Yes, this um, many of these early publications again have these um, notes. You know, it's only in uh, um, Subramanya Dikshitar's. Um, Prathama Abhyasa Pustakamu, that Muthuswami Dikshitar is mentioned beside the name. You know it is Muthuswami Dikshitar's, that Sahitya has been provided by him. But otherwise, all these, they are just tunes here. In uh, Sangeeta, Sangeeta Nanda Ratnakaramu, he has provided Sahitya, but we do not know who the author of the notes are. Yeah. Just play one. <laughs> Interesting. 
interesting combinations actually. Next we move on to this section called Tahanamulu. He calls it as Tahanamulu. This addition of this Ha there is very very important to note that in when you play the Tanam on the Veena for example, the first note is Mellinam, what we pluck. The next one which is deflected is Vallinam, but it has to come with a Ha, a very silent Ha which has to come from the base of your throat. Not Taga, not, nor should it be ta. A, a is also from here. So, ha is, has been stressed very beautifully in this work. And using that technique, I have played the nate on, uh, I mean, the um, tanams on the vene. In fact, if you follow the rules, it, you will be transported to maybe a century back, where maybe at least 50 years back, like you're listening to an old film song. That's how it feels when I played that tanam uh, where I followed the rule that if it is a phrase is three then it would be I would pluck on the first and the third the middle will be silent or I will play the talam for that then if it would be five swaras then I would play pluck for the one three and five and two and four will be the talam so I have followed that he has done the groupings and given it to us uh -huh. section there is no rishabha but still it sounds so much like nate in the second part of this nate is where he introduces only in the last two the rishabha is coming in okay so uh, following the notation and playing exactly was very difficult it was very challenging because i had to follow closely and also play along with it so i didn't go up to this part because i would just slip in one middle and then i had to do the whole thing again so i had this challenge maybe yeah the next one yeah gaula He has used the samvadi very beautifully. Like if it will be uh, sari ma, uh, like in the pani sari ni sari sari ma ri ri sa. That sari ma is on the first string, and ri ri sa is just behind. So you don't have to go back here. So he has given like moving from one string to the other. I realized that clue while I was playing two three times. I realized I'm jumping from here and there. Then I found the logic that he has uh, composed it so that you don't have to go all those distances. With Sarima, it is Ririsa. I found that pa, pa, ni, pa, sa, sa, ni, pa, sa, ni, pa, ma, pa, ma, pa, ri, ri, sa. Ma, pa is on the third string. Ri, ri, sa is on the first string, in the, I mean the second string, which is on the same. 
you know so you don't have to actually move uh, or rather move through the fret you know if you would visually see what is happening so it it is a very beautiful piece for all vainikas to practice even for uh, the voice it is a good exercise not every way can you you need to do a jaru yeah go to the next one shri ra Again and again, you know, it kind of bangs on your head. You know, the re re that one. The next is R B. Yeah. this kedaragolam kedaragola i'll just play one short clipping there is no usage of sani dapa this uh, swara kur uh, this uh, swara phrasings itself you'll know that there is no usage of sani uh, sani dapa that's all and then he concludes this uh, um book with uh, mangalam from the nauka charitram so what are the takeaways from this work is the concept of the tahanamulu that the placement of the tha is what i found was um, um tutorial for singing tanam uh, which should not be mis uh, mis mis sung or this interpreted as taganam or tahanam taanam or tag usually we find now uh, they sing tag taganam so that uh, it has to be ta ta ha so and that ta ha is again you open your mouth at ta ha that is how it is so that was and uh, and the way he has notated it is extremely uh, uh, easy to interpret what he has written so with this i would like to uh, thank all my research scholars who have really helped me to work with this and put this together actually because uh, editing and looking for references and all that and i again thank the music academy thank you members of the experts committee dr rama kausalya thank you very much for introducing a new book for, to us two observations one we were mentioning that dot uh, verse is not necessary for instruments is it illa no, not in, uh, necessary in chalala ipo vasikrom but in the it's not documented that's what i meant i'm sorry if it is that's how it uh, mm. got mm. X, mm. Uh, <coughs> because um, வேணல ஸ்பீடுக்கு வந்து நீங்கள் தாண்ட ஆரம்பிச்சிங்கனாலே ஸ்பீட் வராது ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட்டு ஸ்பீட் தென் கால தட் இஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் ஸ்பீட் செகண்ட் ஸ்பீட் தேர்ட் ஸ்பீட் ஃபோர்த் ஸ்பீட் வாட் எவர் ஸ்பீட் ஜூ ப்ளே அதுக்கப்புறம் த
move on to the thalams i mean the the way the pedagogy is placed that is how it is now only some works have uh, dhatu why no i i do not know why i it, it is not that veena la in instruments it is not necessary it is needed but it has been included in some works i didn't mention in some of the jantavarsays itself dhatu has been not very good samagama riga sari sasari riga gama apdi and the dhatu jantayoda include panni panirka பட் தனியாக ஒரு தாட்டு வரிசை செக்ஷன் வந்து இட் இஸ் வித்ஆர் இன் வெரி ஃபியூ ஒர்க்ஸ் இல்லை தாட்டு வரிசை வந்து நாங்களும் கற்றுட்டுருக்கோம் நாங்களும் சொல்லிக் கொடுக்குறோம் தாட்டு வரிசை வந்து நல்ல எப்படி அலங்காரம்லாம் எல்லா ராகங்களையும் வாசிக்கணும் அப்புறம் தாட்டு வரிசையும் எல்லா ராகங்களையும் வாசிக்கணும் இல்லை நிச்சயம் நாங்களும் சொல்லிகிட்டு இருக்கோம் சொல்லியும் கொடுக்குறோம் ஆனால் வந்து தாட்டு வரிசை வந்து மென்ஷன் பண்ணலங்கிறது வந்து பப்ளிகேஷனில் இருக்குது இல்லைங்கிறதான் அது வந்து பொதுவாக வந்து என்ன ஆகிடும்னாக்கா தாட்டு வரிசை வந்து கட்டாய வேணும் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட்டுக்கு ஏன்னா அது வந்து அது வேறு வேறு ராகங்களை வாசிச்சு சொல்லுவா அது ரொம்ப ஒன்று ரெண்டாவது வந்து இந்த தானம் வந்து சிட்ட தானம்னு சொல்லுவா அந்த தானங்களை வந்து சின்ன சின்னதாக பண்ணுறது தாயம்னு ஒன்று உண்டு இல்லை திஸ் ஹஸ் பீன் இட் ஹஸ் பீன் டாக்குமெண்டட் ஆஸ் தாயம் சிட்டத்தானம் இன் சங்கீத சர்வார்த்த சார சங்கிரமும் ஹி சேஸ் ஆயுத்தமும் வேர் அண்ட் அண்ட் தென் ஹி கிவ்ஸ் அஸ் தான் தன்னாக்கரம் Tannakaram is he gives the swara and then Anamta Dhanam. That is for the vocal students, how they should sing. In Nata, he has given Tannakaram. The others he has gives as Thanam. So there, it comes by different names, but it is the same. I mean, it is uh, uh, the same concept actually. Time is not in the syllabus. But now it is not in the syllabus. Then there is a publication in the time. Time is not in the publication. Then there is a publication in the time. 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 ப்ரிசர்வ் பண்ணுறதுக்கு அதெல்லாம் உதவியாக இருந்தது டாய் உதவியாக இருந்தது அந்த டாயத்தை எப்படி அப்படி சொல்லுவாங்கனாக்க தானமாக வாசிக்க சொல்லுவார் நாங்கள் எங்களுக்கு அந்த சிலபஸ் இருக்குமோ அது கொஞ்சம் போர்ஷன் எடுத்து கொஞ்சம் கஷ்டமாக இருக்கும் மனப்பாடம் பண்ணி அது தானமாக வாசிக்கிறது அப்படி தான் அந்த டாயத்தை வாசிப்பேன் இது இது போல தான் இருக்கும் அந்த டாய் சரசிம்மாவில் பப்ளிகேஷன் கூட இருக்குது தேங்க்யூ தேங்க்யூ Dr. Arasji, would you? Okay, thank you. Uh, Sangeetha Kalacharya, Dr. Arasji Jayalakshmi. One question is, Nata Thana Mandu, Pulli illa the bodhu, why you tried it in Tharasai? Man, you know, I know, and the full phrase was, Kheel Aram Bichu Tho, Thavarudu, Sadanna. So, I know, Thavar illa me, I put a flow order varthu, I put a vandha better than that. So, I played different combinations two, three times and saw, suddenly, see, I'm following the notation when I'm playing, <coughs> and that gap, unless I memorize it, maybe if i memorize it i will be able to play I, it was not memorized so i tried to see a very easy way of getting that into the flow so when i started in tarasthai without a break i was able to play so that is why i took that sangeetha kala acharya shrimati suguna varadachari the thanathra vande ஒவ்வொரு செக்ஷனாக ஒன் டூன் போட்டு போட்டிருந்தேன் ஆமா இது நம்பர்ஸ் கரெக்ட் ஒவ்வொரு செக்ஷனோட எண்டும் சேம் ஆர்க் இஸ் देयर any particular reason for that இல்லை ஒரு அறுதி மாதிரி கொடுத்துருக்கார் அவர் ஒரு 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 செக்மெண்ட்டுக்கு சி தட் இஸ் ஹவு வி பிளான் த தானம் ஆல்சோ நவ் டேஸ் வென் வி சிங் நோ ஒரு ஒரு ஸ்வரத்துக்கு ஒரு அறுதி கொடுத்து தானே அடுத்த ஸ்வரத்துக்கு போகும் அது எல்லாருக்குமே எந்த ஸ்டைலில் பண்ணாலும் நம்ம அதுக்கு ஏற்ற மாதிரி அறுதி கொடுப்போம் ஆமாம் இதில் ஆமாம் எல்லாமே ஒரே அறுதிக்கு வரும் இது வந்து ஒரே அறுதிக்கு வருது ஆமாம் அதுக்கு அதாவது பர்டிகுலர் ஏதாவது தெரிஞ்சதா அதில் இல்லை எனக்கு நான் சில சில அறுதி மேலே சால வாசிட்டேன் எனக்கு கீழே அது வரல கனெக்ஷன் ஸோ ஐ பிளேட் ஒன் ஆர் தி ஆன் ஆன் த தாரஸ் தைஸ் ஆ ஆல்சோ ஸோ டிபெண்டிங் ஆன் த இல்லை இல்லைன்னா அருதி வந்து அந்த ஒரு இதர் இட் ஹஸ்ட் பி அண்ட் சா ஒரு பா மேபி தட் இஸ் வாட் இஸ் பா பஞ்சமத்தில் கூட இல்லை வெறும் சட்ஜத்தில் தான் இருக்குது இது பார்க்கணும் ஐ ஐ ஹவ் டு சி ஆல் த அதர் சிட்டத்தானம்ஸ் அண்ட் தென் ஃபிகர் அவுட் ஒய் திஸ் ரீசன் இஸ் வெதர் இன் அதர் ஒர்க்ஸ் யூ ஹவ் தி அருதீஸ் இன் டிஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வர் ஹஸ் ஐ ஹவ் டு செக் தேங்க் யூ but the this tahanamulu that ta tanamulu ta tahanamulu was what was the ar okala parcha tahanamulu tahanam tahanam da kadra exactly no but that ha illa idu ipo instrument la vande adu vande vallinam adu ha abdingra first word it is supposed to be it's supposed to be vallinam but ha it romba sookshmama solanum adu that's what it means maybe instrument la vande unga meet la vande ஷார்ப்பாக மீட்டுறதோ இதுவாக மீட்டுறதோ தெரியும் பட் ஓக்கல் அதை பறிச்சா நிச்சயமாக தகனம் தகனம் தான் காதல் விளையாடுறது ரொம்ப தகனம் தகனம் 
ரொம்ப மோசம் அது பேதவல்லி அம்மாலே ஒரு தடவை டெல்லியில் ஒரு லெக் டைமில் இந்த தகனமே வேண்டாம் அப்படின்னு ஐ வாஸ் அ ஸ்டூடெண்ட் அட் தட் டைம் ஐ நெவர் ஃபார்கெட் இன்னொன்று கூட சொல்லுவா நொம்த நொம்தல நம்த நம்த தான் வரணும் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு சொல்லுவா அனம்த தான் அவ்வளோதான் that uh, he was reminded of that comment anyway the i was grandson of walaja pete venkatramana bhagavad well, he was a student of the grandson no no student and the guru no, and the peru solradillaya he doesn't uh-huh. mention so it may not be ram swami bhagavad may, no see a uh, period vach paatha he says he is uh, um sheshanar disciple who solli kira tyagarajar vera solra nadula adu konja confusing ah because he is spanning a whole lot and the only thing and the ramapura may if now that balaja pete connection because they also use ramachandrapura as their mudra maybe they are he is referring but he to belongs that. to that lineage see the sishya paramparayile idu onnona velila vandirukku ipo da we find lot there are many more to come out actually but uh, they are very beautiful compositions whatever said and done thank you dr rajshri i now request sangeetha kalanidhi shrimati aruna sairam for her comments ஒரு ஒரு சப்ஜெக்ட்லேயும் லட்சணம் லட்சியங்கிறது எப்போதுமே ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியம் ஸோ அந்த லட்சணங்கிற அந்த ஒரு தாட் ப்ராசஸ்ஸை வந்து எவ்வளோ அழகாக நம்மளுடைய பெரிவாழ்லாரும் கீப் அப் பண்ணியிருக்கா அதை க்ரோ பண்ணியிருக்கா அதை எவல் எவல்யூஷனைஸ் பண்ணியிருக்காங்கிறதுக்கு இது ஒரு நல்ல ஒரு எடுத்துக்காட்டு நீங்கள் இன்றைக்கி செஞ்ச ஒரு லெக்சர் டெமான்ஸ்ட்ரேஷன் ரொம்ப இட் வாஸ் இன்ஃபர்மேட்டிவ் அண்ட் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் I also agree that தாட்டு வரிசை வந்து ரொம்ப முக்கியம் அதாவது அந்த காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் காம் அலங்காரங்கள் கா காம்பினேஷன்ஸ் பில்டு பண்ணுறதுக்கு அது முக்கியம் ஸோ அது இப்போது நட நடைமுறையில் எல்லாத்துலேயுமே எல்லா இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட்ஸில் வோக்கலில் எல்லாமே அது வர்றது இன்ஃபேக்ட் இந்துஸ்தானி மியூசிக்கலையும் அதை மேரு கண்டு அப்படின்னு ஒரு விஷயத்த சொல்கிறா அதில் வந்து இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு காம்பினேஷன்ஸ் இப்போ சரிக ரி சக க சரி சக ரி ரிக சக ரி சா அந்த மாதிரி ப்ராக்டிஸ் பண்ணே போகிறா நாலு அப்படின்னா சரிகாம சக ரி ம ரி சகாம க சரி ம ரிக சம க ரி சமா அப்படி ஸோ அதெல்லாம் அந் இந்த பழக்க வழக்கங்கள் வந்து எல்லா கிரமேரியன்ஸும் ஃபாலோ பண்ணியிருக்கா ஸோ நீங்கள் சொல்கிற மாதிரி அது ரொம்ப ரொம்ப இப்போது நடைமுறையில் ரொம்ப முக்கியமாக இருக்குது ஒரு ஒரு புஷ்டியோடு நம்ம ஒரு கல்பனை சுரங்களோ ஒரு தானங்களோ ஒரு காம்பினேஷன்ஸோ கொடுக்கணுங்கிற போது ஸோ தட் வாஸ் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் தட் தெர் வாஸ் அ பீரியட் ஆஃப் எவல்யூஷன் தானம் வந்து ப்ரீ கம்போஸ்ட் தானம் நிறைய நோட்டேஷன்ஸ் அவள் வந்து சாவித்ரி அம்மான் இருந்தாளே எல்லா இங்கே லெஸ்டர் சுரோடில் சாவித்ரி ராஜன் அவா வந்து எக்ஸ்டென்சிவ் நோட்டேஷன்ஸ் வச்சிருந்தா சர்வார்த்த சார சங்கரம் இட் ஹஸ் गिवन தி மேக்ஸिमम நம்பர் ஆஃப் நோட்டேஷன்ஸ் ஃபார் தானம்ஸ் இஸ் நோல் தி கனராகஸ் ஆமா ரொம்ப நல்லா நோட்டேஷன்ஸ் வந்து அதுல இருக்கு தானங்கள்லாம் நாங்க சின்ன வயசுல தானம் படிக்கும் போது அந்த நோட்டேஷனை வச்சு தான் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சிட்டையா பாடம் பண்ண சொல்லி அதுக்கு அப்புறம் அதில் இருந்து கல்பனையா பாடுறது அப்படிங்கிறது எதுவுமே வந்து ரோட் லேர்னிங் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அதுக்கு அப்புறம் தான் கிரியேட்டிவ் எக்ஸ்ப்ளோரேஷன் வருது இல்லையா in every discipline so nanna ardadu romba thank you very much for a very erudite uh, thank you uh, sangeetha kalanidhi shrimati aruna sairam for having presided over two days of the 97th annual conference at our request we really appreciate your kind gesture thank you very much for that tomorrow the 8th day we have thank you for having me over tomorrow the 8th day we have one lecture demonstration spanning 90 minutes it's a tribute to uh, nagaswara vidwan namagiri pete krishnan and to vedaranyam vedamurthy and it will be presented by lalita ram at the usual time at 8 am i look forward to seeing you all here have a great day bye for now